Calgary researchers are looking for people who faint to participate in a study that's trying to pinpoint possible genetic causes for this common and debilitating condition. They have problems with jobs, driving, they get hurt, problems in school, it's just it's a lot of problems. Between 30 to 40 percent of Canadians experience syncope, which is the medical term for fainting. For some, it may be only one or two isolated instances, but for others, fainting occurs on a regular basis. Most fainters have one or two faints when they're in their teens, and then some have fainted a bunch of times in their teens, but lots of them do nothing for decades, and then they start. And, and it's like a switch is thrown. They start, they faint a bunch of times over months to years, and then the switch is thrown again, boom, and they stop. And what those switches are, we don't know. It would be good to know because if we can just work on the switch and stop it or find a way to turn them off, that would be great. Angel Radisky suffers from the condition and faints on average every 10 days. It probably happens about once a week, so once every two weeks. The longest I've gone is 20 days. Shortest span in between fainting is 24 hours. Although Radisky is able to continue to work in a clinic as a licensed practical nurse, her daughter Kara, 22, frequently accompanies her on other outings in case her mother faints. I don't want it to happen, but I, I don't know if, they don't even really know if it will, right? So I just try not to worry about it until I know, so. Dr. Sheldon's research program has made Calgary one of the preeminent centers in the world for the study of syncope. So the question is, how do you stop this? And we don't really have any good treatments right now. That's what the study is about. The study is trying to figure out what it is that's going on in the brain that allows people to faint, that triggers a faint. Physicians don't have adequate treatments for syncope. Even though many drugs have been tested, effective treatment remains elusive because it's not fully understood why some people experience syncope and others don't. Uh, we have some evidence that pills that block a particular kind of adrenaline work in older people and we're testing that with one of our clinical trials. And we have some evidence that a pill that helps retain salt in water uh, will prevent fainting in younger people and we're just t finishing up that analysis now. We're doing a study as well of a, a pill that actually squeezes the veins and gets the blood back up to the heart. That's another one of the studies that we're doing now. You know, getting it out there is going to make people want to research it a little bit more, look for the genetic link or look for whatever, the magic pill or the magic wand, whatever it is. Somebody hopefully will, will be able to figure it out and even if they can't completely stop the, the episodes from happening. A little less frequent would be nice. To find out about participating in a study, call 403-220-8897 or send an email to this address.